If your loved one passed away and there was a reverse mortgage against their property and you and other family members want to keep that property in the family, what can be done when there is a reverse mortgage against that property? Hello again, this is Certified Probate Real Estate Specialist, Daryl Williams with Win Win Real Tours here in Southern California. On this program, we assist personal representatives and probate attorneys with estate real property. So if you are new here and you're interested in this type of content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. Reverse mortgages are all about accessing the equity in your property. The most common type of reverse mortgage is a HECOM, Home Equity Conversion Mortgage, which is FHA insured. Reverse mortgages must be paid back when the borrower moves out of the property or passes away. Seniors choose reverse mortgages because they do not have to make any monthly payments. The equity income payments to them supplements their retirement income. And seniors get to keep their homes as long as they use it as their primary residence and they do not move out of that property. Reverse mortgage borrowers are obligated to maintain things like repairs, maintenance, insurance, property taxes, homeowners association dues, etc. If these items are not maintained, that reverse mortgage becomes due and payable. So, can the heirs keep a house when a reverse mortgage borrower dies? In most cases, the heirs will have to do one of three things. They'll have to buy the house, Basically, they will need to go and secure another loan in order to pay off the reverse mortgage loan. They'll need to sell the deceased person's house in order to pay off the reverse mortgage loan. The lender will allow you to sell that house up to 95% of the appraisal value if the house is upside down. And in some cases, an heir may be able to purchase that house for 95% of the appraisal value. The heirs have the option to sign what's called a deed in lieu of foreclosure, which simply means to sign over the title to the lender so they can avoid foreclosure. Those are the main options that the heirs have when dealing with a property that has a reverse mortgage on it. When a loved one passes away, the heirs should immediately notify the reverse mortgage lender of that loved one's death. The reverse mortgage lender will immediately send out a due and payable notice to the deceased person's address and the heirs have 30 days to respond with their intentions as it relates to that property. Are they going to sell it? Are they going to buy it? What's their plan? The lender will also assign an appraiser to determine the value of the subject property. It is critical that the heirs keep the lender informed as to what's going on. The lender will extend efforts or the time for efforts to sell that property up to a year. Question of the day, do you currently have a reverse mortgage on your property? If so, what are your instructions to your heirs when you pass? Let us know in the comments below. If you've gotten value from this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Daryl Williams. This is Win Win Real Tours TV. 
If you have any questions for me, my contact information is in the description. This video has been for information purposes only. It is not legal advice. I am not an attorney. If you need an attorney, please consult one. If you need a probate or an estate planning attorney in the Southern California area, feel free to contact me for a referral.